Hello YouTubies, welcome back. So, I uh, rebooted up the game and, well, it, it did erase my file, sort of. It started me in this room, in, my, in the room again, and it said, oh, you know, after I died when I came back, and, and then, uh, but I walked out and the room layout is different. I did, he what? oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Of course I did. I knew that already. Okay, this all seems the same though, but why did that... Yet there was not a single person here either. Is that room different? Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked yeah, upstairs up, to his up. boss's yeah, yeah, office. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Two. Stanley wondered oh. in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. <laughs> so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Oh, I press spacebar a lot. I just get an achievement that says you can't jump in these because I was pressing spacebar. Feeling space soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Ah. Okay, now here we go where we left off. Where am I? Okay, that was weird. Anyway, here we go. Scary. This is really funny. I like this game. I like this game. I, I feel like when I started up the game I was thinking, you know, what if this is just supposed to be you take your choices and each one leads back to the beginning. Building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Um, anyway, what if... Stanley it's walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I don't want to do that. What if all the paths are supposed to lead you back to the beginning? this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Not going there! Not going there. Not going there. Okay. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay, this looks familiar from the demo. Oh, what if all the paths lead you right back to the beginning? It's just sort of like an experience to choose different paths and see the different choices that they make. Now, yeah, the hello. hunters jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Except some of the pictures look the same. But that's okay. Who's counting except me? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Fire. This is like the Matrix. You guys remember the pie? Uh, hey, hey now, I wanted to see what was over there. What's over there?
Do you guys see that little? Do you guys see that red thing? What in the world? Oh, there's some of those around. Alrighty, let's no. go. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Like the narrator's doing to me. Here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I feel like I can do something here. I am the chosen one. Well, how do I get it back online? Can I not control the world? That looks like death. Is that death? I think that's death. It's already offline. Wait a minute, are you are you lying to me? Are you lying to me? Do you just want me to turn it on? Is that what you're doing, you evil narrator? Is this what you're doing? What is this? Four. Alrighty. Um, moving along, this is a crazy, crazy game. If you guys don't believe how crazy it is, what are you watching? Mind controls idle, awaiting. No, I wanted to, no, I wanted to. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation to put an end to this horrible place. Oh, Stanley, Let you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? No, I hit this thing. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA okay. identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stan? Oh, God. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Huh. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. What? But what precious moments each one of them what? is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're going to die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, 
or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. What do you I know do? What? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock, why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. What am I supposed to do? What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Three blue buttons? Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your uh, purpose in this place uh, is? <laughs> oh my god! Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. <laughs> to see you made this? humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first. So you can't. No! Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will no! you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All of How do I do And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. I died again. I'm ending this episode here. Bye, YouTubies. This is... I don't... I want to know... I want to... How do I... I want to... Uh, bye. Love, 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 love. See you when I see ya. I don't want to do it, guys. There's got to be another way. There's got to be a way. A way for our children. And our children's children. And our children's 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 children.